Peace. This is a Beat and Potato Sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today I want to talk to the occult family about what you can do with High John the Conqueror. High John the Conqueror, you can get it as a plant and, you know, don't overwater it. That's one. Secondly, what you can do with it as far as its occult and mystical properties, this is what you can do. You can utilize it to break curses and hexes. Also, for the brothers and the men out here, you can use it to strengthen your libido. Also, you can use it as a floor wash. You can use it as that and you can put it along with mint oil in a green bag to bring money to you. If you're using it, in a candle, this will increase your magical abilities as well as protect you and your loved ones in the household. This is what you can do with High John the Conqueror. And here's a quick story. One of the mythos or tales about High John the Conqueror is that he was a king or a person of royalty who was brought from Africa or what is misnomered as Africa here and he refused to bow down to people and lose his dignity and his integrity that's one of the so-called myths so irrespective like I said it breaks curses hexes it also can use be used for protection and prosperity. So if you're going to get into candle magic. Or hoodoo. Good book to get. As far as candle magic. You can get that by Raymond Buckland. He's also the author of the complete book of witchcraft. You can get that. So. That's what you can do. With this particular herb. And if you get it in a plant. Grow it. In your house. It doesn't take that much water don't overwater it so that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day i'm the water alchemist be water my friend peace